Hello everyone, I'm back with yet another video and today's model is my stunning mother. Uh, we're going to do a gorgeous kind of a smoky brown eye on her. Uh, today I'm going to show you the entire look with drugstore uh, products. That's another thing that's requested a lot. Mama, are you excited? Yeah, you blackmailed me into it. Yeah, I blackmailed you into sitting for me while she's fasting. So she is really sacrificing here right now. So I'm going to start now with first spraying some co-natural oxygen water on her face really drenching that face with the water just to bring some hydration into the skin a lot of times when i see women that are mature getting their makeup done i feel their skin starts to look kind of dry and cakey and i feel it makes them age even more so the trick is lots of dewiness i'm now gonna go ahead and apply my aveeno daily moisturizing cream on her face So I'm just going to now massage that into her skin. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply some eye cream because that's a step you shouldn't definitely miss when you're doing makeup on mature skin because you don't want it to look. Uh, it helps in not letting the foundation, concealer, creasing, especially around the eyes, you'll notice. I'm going to apply some on her eyelid as well. So if this area is nice and moisturized, then you'll have less problems with creasing because that's something that everybody ends up really having an issue with when it comes to mature makeup. I take some eye cream. I also am going to apply it a little bit in these folds here. I feel it does the same thing it does under the eye. It helps to not let it crease as much. Right now I'm going to go in with my top face brush in seven, number seven. And I'm going to take some Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and I'm going to apply it to the lid here. I'm also going to show you guys how I love doing a brown eye with mostly foundation today. So I'm going to apply this first just on the lid and just slightly in the inner corner. We're going to wipe under her eye before we do her skin. If you watch my videos, you know I prefer doing the eyes first. I'm going to go with the same concealer but a shade lighter now. going into the inner corner as well because a lot of times once the makeup is done yaha makeup karna fir mushkil ho jata hai so want to make sure we cover that right now i'm going to take some of my infallible foundation in this dark the shade here and i'm going to start creating the base of that brown eye so i do this a lot i tend to uh, use foundations and concealers to sometimes even create the entire face the look of the entire face I've filmed that tutorial as well you guys shall be seeing it but I do this a lot so I'm going to take that foundation here and I'm really blending that all over I'm going to blend it out a little bit to give her eye that caramel kind of a tone close moment what I love about using foundations for uh, blending a lot of this eye and shadow is that a the consistency of the foundation is very thin so it blends very well it's meant to blend into the skin seamlessly so it's easy to use i feel and there's a great range of colors that suit our skin tone right so i've gone ahead and prepped that eye there open close again then. Now I'm going to take a darker tone of the same foundation and go closer to the waterline now. I'm taking the same brush I initially used for the first foundation and I'm just going to blend this now on the eye. I'm going to go in again with the dark, the same darker foundation and now build it waterline ke paas. 
I'm also going to take the Zoeva here 230. It's like a pencil brush. You can use another pencil brush if you have it too. And I'm also going to go under her eye with the same foundation color. I'm just going to take a dry bud now and just go over this to blend it a little further. I love using buds for blending. I'm going to take my Morphe brush in M213 and this drugstore gel eyeliner. I'm just going to pull it away from her eyeball a little bit and fill the apply it in the waterline there. Look down now, I'm going to just tight line. Niche dekhwa. Right, and now I'm going to take the same gel eyeliner and start blending that on her socket now. So this gorgeous kind of a dark eye is now happening on her. Make sure when you're blending, you're taking it to the crease. Then I'm going to use my brush that I did initially, the Morphe M441 and I'm just going to blend now where the crease is meeting this darker brown. Now I'm going to take a bronze shadow and kind of build that in the center of her eye here. So I'm keeping it to the center of the lid. You don't crease ki taraf nahi jana. The rule of thumb is metallics ke saath crease to build karne ka hota hai jo foundation jo pura structure hai aap mattes mein create or rather i do it with matte colors or phir center ke andar aap apni especially with mature eyes center ki taraf shimmers metallics rakhenge varna ye crease lines are bahut prominent ho jati hain now i'm going to go into a medium brown eye shadow and kind of just go over this crease area now i'm using a slightly more reddish brown and just going over this crease area. Okay, mom. Crease and outwards, just blending it out like that. For us a reddish brown liam in it. And now I'm gonna use a pearly color here, like a champagne tone eyeshadow for the brow bone. Right, now I'm gonna go back in with my gel eyeliner and I'm going to use my pencil brush and I'm gonna start making this waterline dark. Band karna bhar se ab. Smudgy liners, especially again on eyes that are slightly more have lines, wrinkles, etc. As we age, that increases. So on that kind of an eye, a smokier liner looks better. Just going back in with more of the same and blending out that area. I'm going to go over this eyeliner now with a dark brown, brown shadow. Open. Close again. So I'm just blending that eyeshadow on where I've applied the eyeliner. Open again. Close again. Just going back and forth. Right, and now in the corner, I'm also going to darken the corners with this eyeshadow. Close my mouth. So just the corner going now up as well and slightly down and then just here. Crease ke outer corner pe. Because again, with as we age, our contours tend to kind of not be as defined. Defining the crease makes a huge difference. And I always keep their eyes open so I can really tell that makeup or shape kaha fall when they will naturally open their eyes. Open Keeping their eyes closed throughout the process defeats the purpose, I feel, because you really can't see what you're doing. Right, now I'm going to take another brownish shadow and I'm going to apply it on top of this one here. Open. So the gold under it will just lift it a little bit, but I have a center socket hai, usko thoda sa brown kar hu, but metallic color. Mein. So now I'm going to go in with some black gel eyeliner. Look down, mama. Close. I'm going to start defining her waterline. Open.
This is the Makeup Atelier number no. 4 brush that I'm using. And I'm just creating an eyeliner. Open, close. So I'm just going in and kind of building that eyeliner. Now I'm going to take a slightly orangey brown and blend that into her crease here. I'm just going to wipe around her eye because there's quite a bit of fallout. So just see what's happening with the shape. Look at the So I'm going to kind of wipe. So now I'm going to apply the Salva Admani lashes, these ones. Just going to place the lash and just wait for it to dry. Open, down. So now I'm going to use the Morphe M432 and this dark brown shadow to start structuring her brow. I'm going to use my Bourjo eyeliner. Look down, mama. Open and look down. Don't close your eyes. Chin down. And I'm just going to go over on top of where I've applied the lash. Open. Just take your time to do the eyeliner always. And do the same thing look down again now making sure that the inner corner is also done properly look down again and so is the outer corner I'm just always once I do eyeliner I kind of put my dry bud over the tops of the lash, a lot of times there's residue of the eyeliner which can hit the top part of your eye and actually is a pain because then it's on top of all the eye makeup you've done. I'm going to apply it inside her eye. And with the reddish brown, I'm going to go under her eye here. She's got this really pretty brown eye color. I mimic it with contacts. She actually naturally has that color. So when you have reddish browns, your brown ankh, in general, brown tone wali ankh mein karte hain, wo bohat, um, it looks pretty. It looks, in general also, I feel brown tends to suit all of us. I'm just taking makeup atelier brush. With our coloring, these kind of brown tones look really pretty on our eyes and skin. So I'm just going in now, dragging that down also. Same orange shred shade I'm taking. Now I'm going to take a wet bud. I wanted it to be a little less than the amount that's on her under eye. So I'm just going to take some off with my cotton bud with some makeup remover here. And now I'm going to take my wipe. Before I finish her eye now, it's very important that I do her skin to really see mm -hmm. what the eye is looking like. Because a lot of times, Jab tak under eye darkness or sab dikri hoti hai, aapko aankh ka itna andaza nahi ho para hota. So now I'm going to just wipe any residue off her face and I'm just taking the moisturizer that I applied off her T-zone because I'm going to apply a primer there. So I'm taking some primer now and applying it to the T-zone and under her eye here. I want to keep the rest of her face looking dewy, okay? So especially mature skin ke saath ye tendency hoti hai ki sab Bohat over powder or thick foundation will just make it look aged and it's just not a good look. So I'm just going to keep the mattifying primer to the her T-zone. The rest I'm going to let be. And now I'm going to take some Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I'm using it in 250. And I'm going to take another color of the same foundation and blend it together. And I'm going to start applying it to her face. So I'm using the Fit Me Matte and Poreless because Mum skin 
like mine or rather my skin like mom's is also oily so I'm just gonna start blending that all over her face making sure I don't ruin her sari because I've been I have instructions not to do so so just going to go around apply it all over her lip also don't close your eyes mama open just going to apply it everywhere So I'm just taking my beauty blender and kind of blending that foundation into her face first. Now I'm going to take some of my infallible darker concealer and I'm going to use it as my color corrector under her eyes. So I'm going to take some and I'm going to put a darker tone because this video is all about doing what I did in her previous video um, where I've done a silver look on mama I used Fenty as my color correcting corrector but here because I'm using drugstore products this is another way of getting the same kind of an effect but with a product that's not as expensive so I'm just going in with my darker concealer first in all the areas that I feel need some color correction and then I'm going to go in with my lighter shade from the same and I'm going to apply that on top of this to get rid of any darkness. So we color corrected with the darker shade and now we will highlight it with the lighter shade. So I'm just rubbing that there up again. Just taking that lighter concealer in these areas around her mouth, the sides of the nose, also inner corner of the eye, making sure I'm brightening all those areas, and I'm also going to take it to the center of her forehead here. And then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and start to really push it into her skin. I'm going to take some of that concealer and also apply it to her neck a little bit so we don't have a major color difference. Now I'm going to go back in with my darker concealer and start contouring her face. So here on nose ki sides, pe, sides of her cheek. Under her chin. Let's look up. Hum. And when you're applying it under the chin, make sure you're also going downwards to shade under, not just making a line. So we line not create a line, we need to shadow create a shadow. Okay, so we're going to I'm just doing the tip also here. Let's turn this side. And I'm just going to create a slight cleft on her by shading her chin a little bit. Now I'm going to go back in with my orangish brown that I applied under her eye because like I said, generally videos I always say that when we put concealer on the eye, we have to touch up her eye. So now I'm going to go in, look down, just go over the corners of the eye again. 
Now I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. Look up again. Just using the tip, making sure that I'm covering each lash. Now I'm going to take a big brush. I'm going to take this shade and light palette Kat Von D and I'm going to go over her face with this. So just using setting powder here. I'm not going to use a sponge. I'm just going to use this. In her T-zone as well. And what I'm going to do before I set her under eye is go over her under eye one more time with concealer. And I'm putting very thin layers. So this is not very thick layers. You need to keep them thin. So we're using And I'm going to make her look up while I set the under eye. That's another trick I remember one of my teachers taught me that when the under eye concealer is drying, when it's dry, you try to do that the client is so we're going to keep her looking up while I do this and then I'm going to take translucent powder and keep it under her eye for like 30 seconds so I'm not a fan of baking your face I think it's a little it makes it look too powdery and done but just the under eye a little bit I shall put it under and then kind of with the same sponge take it off or blend it rather into the skin Mom has really nice long lashes of her own also. So her lower lashes can look really like Barbie-like. Or lower lash, ko jab aap karte, especially when you want her very flirty kind of an eye. Lower lash gives a very lovely effect if you keep it nice and heavy. So I'm just really adding that lower lash mascara. Now I'm going to take some of my blush. I'm taking a slightly peachy blush. And it has a little bit of a shine. Look here, Mama. Smile again. Mom is a fan of a lot of blush. Take a slightly peach blush here. I'm just going to go over her eyebrow one more time. So now the lip line has been applied. I'm going to now apply a slightly brown tone, a medium brown, almost medium brown peachy tone to her lip first. And then I'm going to follow that with a nudish color because I love a nude lip with a brown eye, especially like a brownie nude lip. And this has hints of peach in it as well. I'm smiling a little bit with your lips closed. Can I do this? Right, now let's go towards finishing her look. So now I'm going to make her wear her jewelry, which is a stunning set by Jaipur & Co. I'm just going to finish the lip with a slightly more flesh colored lip color in the center. Just to create more depth on that lip and also again like I said with a brown eye soft nude lips just me halki si peachy tone ho hamari skin tones pe bahut acha lagta hai smile ma right we just gonna finish that off with a setting spray so as you can see a gorgeous bronze 
brown kind of an eye. I have done a peachy nude lip to go with it. I think these are stunning colors for any age. One shouldn't stop having fun as they get older. I feel like if you make sure that you're using the right products and applying the right techniques, anything can uh, work on anyone at any age. She looks gorgeous, soft and dewy. The skin looks beautifully highlighted. The eyes are Stunning. If she was to be the bride's mother or a bride's aunt or someone even attending a function here, she would just look breathtaking and striking. And it's a stunning woman as opposed to the makeup taking over. It's about enhancing a woman's beauty. Hope you guys learned something today. Please keep liking, sharing and subscribing and writing your suggestions in our comments below. I want to bring so much more content to all of you. Please keep telling us what you would like to watch on the channel. Hoping to see you soon again. Bye-bye.